is English by Edison. And today we are going to do literature Beehive Class 9. And the title of the poem is A Legend of the Northland. Well, the very first question comes to the mind what is a legend? Obviously, a legend is an ancient story that narrates an event or a description or a happening of the past. This poem basically is based on an old story uh, and the uh, central idea of the story that is engraved in the poem is that man should never be selfish. It highlights the fact that we should not be selfish. It is because selfish people are never satisfied in life. They always remain uncontented and they, they are never worthy of living a good life. So the central theme of this story highlights the fact that we should try to help the needy people. We should not be selfish. Too much of selfishness leads to an ill will and that is uh, a curse for humanity. Now the story goes like that. In the Northland, uh, the, the place from where the story originates is very close to the Northland. And this Northland is very close to the North Pole. Being very close to the North Pole, the place is very cold, extremely cold. And therefore, <clears throat> often there, there is snow and uh, the cold weather prevails throughout the year. And because of that fact, uh, there, there are a few hours of day and there, there are a limited hours of sunlight there and there is a long duration of night. As the nights are very long in winter, the people uh, you know, start sleeping and they get tired of sleeping the whole night. Now, the, the second aspect of the story is about an old lady who was very greedy. And the story goes like that. Once St. Peter, a holy man, was traveling and preaching all around the world, preaching the people about the holy sermons, about the, his uh, holy preachings. As he was traveling throughout the country, he was often without food. He remained tired and hungry several times. Being tired and hungry, he wanted to eat something and take some rest. He chanced to uh, have a small cottage. It was the cottage of an old lady who was baking cakes. The, uh, the you know, St. Peter being, I mean, hungry, went near the cottage. He took permission from the old lady and went inside. He asked for um, a piece of cake to eat as he felt very hungry and weak. The lady you know, started baking cake. She baked twice a cake and after she had made it, she found the cake too small to part with that. She still made a smaller cake and eventually she made a wafer, very thin, but this, she, she even didn't give the wafer to the, you know, to the sand. St. Peter was so hungry. He, he saw and he found her too selfish to part with the wafer. As his hunger rose very high, he got, I mean, displeased with the lady and cursed her. He just decided that the lady was too selfish to dwell in human form and therefore he transformed her into a little bird. And while he transformed her, the lady turned into a bird and went through a chimney. As she went through the chimney, all her body became black like coal except a, a scarlet on her cap that was red. Now that very lady is often seen in the forest, you know, boring wood for a scanty food. The curse of St. Peter, uh, St. Peter uh, remained, uh, I, I mean, a curse for her as she turned into a bird wandering here and there in the jungle for food. And that is how the lady was punished for her greed and selfishness. 
the story also uh, highlights one of the uh, important facts about human being in that we should always try to be charitable, generous and kind to the other people. We should always share our food as well as our uh, property uh, with the poor people. As the lady was too selfish to part with a, a small piece of cake, the uh, hungry St. Peter cursed her and transformed her into a little bird. It clearly suggests that the lady deserved that punishment and the punishment was only because of her greed and selfishness and she had to turn into a bird searching food, wandering here and there in the jungle. Whenever a child passes through that jungle, he acknowledges her that the lady who had once been very selfish now had turned into a small bird, a woodpecker, boring wood, hard wood for a scanty food. So that is the summary of the, uh, uh, the poem. But now there is another aspect of the poem. We are going to uh, just read out some of the brief things about this story. A story that is in the poem. The main points of the um, poem are as follows. The Northland is a cold place. Uh, the nights are longer as compared to days in winter. And once St. Peter stopped at an old lady's cottage because he was feeling hungry. The lady was baking cakes on the hearth. When St. Peter asked for one of the cakes, she tried to make a tiny cake for him. But when she baked it, she found it too large to give it to him. She tried to bake two more times, but even the smallest of the cakes seemed too large to her. Such greedy behavior of the lady annoyed the hungry Sam. He cursed her, saying that she was far too selfish to dwell in a human form. Thus she was transformed into a woodpecker. All her clothes except her scarlet cap were gone as she went up the chimney and flew out of the top. Even a schoolboy is said to have seen her in the forest, boring into the wood for food. Now, some brief questions. Let us discuss some brief questions. Small questions we will discuss now. The question that you can ask receive which country of um, or which country of um, or which place or in which country do you think the Northland refers to? Well, the Northland refers to uh, uh, a country which is very close to the North Pole, very close to the North Pole. It is the coldest place in the world. What did St. Peter ask the lady, uh, old lady for? St. Peter asked the old lady for a piece of cake as he was hungry and tired. How did he punish her? He punished her by transforming her into a bird. Uh, how, does she, uh, how does the woodpecker get her food? The woodpecker gets her food by boring and boring hard and, hard and um, dry wood. She had to wander from jungle to jungle to search scanty food. Uh, next question. Do you think the old lady would have uh, been so ungenerous if she had known who St. Peter really was? No, I don't think she would have done so if she had known that the old man was St. Peter because being a greedy lady, she would have given him even a bigger cake in in return for something she just would have thought that by giving a big cake she would also get a big return and that is what i believe that she should not have behaved in the way she behaved because being a greedy woman she should have uh, desired for a good return from saint peter uh, is this a story a true one no, this story is not at all a true one. It is a legend, which means an old story. Perhaps it is an imaginary story narrated by someone. It is a story of the old time, and that is why it is called a legend. Now, uh, let us talk about why was St. Peter uh, tired and hungry. St. Peter, being a holy man, was often traveling far off the places. While traveling and preaching the people, he often remained on fast. He didn't take food and water for several days. Because of that, he was tired and hungry. 
Uh, that very day also he was tired and hungry because he had not taken food for several days and that is why he went to a small cottage where an old woman lived and he asked for a, a piece of cake. What happened to the cake every time when he, the old lady tried to bake it? Uh, the cake mm, that the old lady tried to uh, uh, make it or bake it uh, seemed to be too large for the lady to part with that. She went on making smaller and a smaller, further smaller cake because she didn't want to part with the cake. She was too selfish to part with even a smaller cake. And that is the reason why the cake always seemed to be big enough for her to part with it. Perhaps she was very selfish and miserly. She didn't want to give anything to anybody. Uh, then. What happened to the old lady when St. Peter cursed her? The old lady turned into a small bird, a woodpecker, when St. Peter cursed him. Now, another question. Why did St. Peter really curse him? Uh, curse her? St. Peter, uh, Peter cursed her because she was too selfish to dwell in human form. She was too selfish to dwell in human form. And because of that, he decided to curse her and transformed her into a woodpecker into a woodpecker. What lesson do you learn from the story? Let's see. What lesson do you learn from this uh, this story that is in the poem? This poem uh, teaches us that we should be generous and kind to others. We should not be selfish, uh, as uh, too much of selfishness leads to evil will, and a selfish person is never happy in his life, never happy in his life. As the case was of the old lady who was very selfish and miserly, she didn't want to part with even a smaller piece of cake and she didn't give St. Peter, Peter anything to eat. The result was that St. Peter became angry and cursed her and transformed her into a little bird. The last question of the day. Uh, yes, why does the poet tell the story which does not, which he he does not believe in? Actually, the poet does not believe in the authenticity of the story that is in the poem. Yet he is desperate to share it to the readers just because it has a good underlying moral. The moral of the story is that human beings should be kind and generous. Kind and generous. Greed is an evil trait of man and it always results into punishment punishment a greedy person doesn't deserve to dwell in human form so rishi i think i must conclude by saying that this is a beautiful poem uh, and having an underlining moral for the students that we should be kind and generous to the other people kind and generous to the thank other you. people thank you